Excuse me, how much you bench? About two fifty. <laughs> Okay, coming at you with another meal prep Sunday. I think this one's number seven, maybe number eight. Could be number six, doesn't really matter. Anyways, what we're making this week is a rip off of Maddie Matheson's baked macaroni and cheese. And uh, the cool thing about this mac and cheese is it's got a crushed Cheeto crust, but we're doing a spush crushed, spiced crushed Cheeto crust. So once we get all these materials prepped, we'll show you what it looks like and then show you how it all goes together and the magic that it is when it's created. Alright, so I'll show you the ingredients that we're dealing with today to make this sort of tasty food. Starting off, of course, we've got the uh, macaronis. What we're going to do with these macaronis is just cook them like normal in the pot. Uh, got through a little bit of extra salt in the pot, uh, help a little bit with the taste, but also increase the boiling point of the water so it cooks a little bit faster. Uh, just have a pound, two pounds and a half, so it's 1400 grams. We also got 660 grams of cheese sliced up. We're just going to slowly put this into our full fat milk to make a nice creamy sauce. And then of course these crushed Cheetos which are going to go on top for the crust. Guys, so as we're letting the water boil, we're currently working with the sauce that we're going to use. So we got a little bit off of medium heat and we've sliced up the cheddar cheese. So we're going to stick it in and then we stir it up so we get a good sauce consistency. We don't want it too, too thick because it won't mix well. And if it's too wet, then we're kind of just soaking our pasta in the sauce, which is not something that we want. We want an even distribution of sauce. So we're going to go ahead and stick all of these in here. And we'll come back when the pasta is done being boiled and the sauce is ready to go. So what we're dealing with here is some tasty cheese sauce that's been melted together. We ended up having to add some extra cheese because it wasn't to the consistency that we wanted, but now I think it's uh, kind of where we want it. Um, also we got the pasta, which is coming to a finish right here. We're just going to empty this out of here, strain it in the sink, and then combine the two in this pod so then we can put it into the uh, baking dish to go into the oven. We have finished putting all of our stuff together. Uh, so the sauce was kind of weird. Uh, we think it's because of the kind of cheese that we used. Um, so we might try to find out what went wrong with it. But as you can see, we have a big dish of pasta, and we got a little small one because we got some excess. And we crushed our Cheetos, which that's all we got left, and stuck it on top. We got the oven prepped, and we'll be right back with you guys when. You got this all done. We're cooking it at 400 for about 25-30 minutes or until the top is golden. But we'll show you that when we're done. 